uh, you know, uh, this thing, <clears throat> these polls have been skewed. I, I can remember campaigns where <clears throat> the Republican was down six, seven, eight points a couple of days out, and all of a sudden things switched. But what I'm looking at here is the labor unions. They are turned off by the Keystone Pipeline, uh, the refusal of the Obama administration to, uh, to put <clears throat> maybe 20,000 steel workers to work by uh, taking on uh, trade deals that have uh, gutted the uh, uh, labor force. I mean, you go down the line. So labor, I don't think, is going to be one of the reliable arms of the Democrats. The African Americans certainly won't have the enthusiasm for Hillary that they did for Obama. And the millennials, I think, are going to go vote independent or stay home. So I, I think when it, it boils down to what's going to happen is the, the, the enthusiasm for the Trump people seems to be overwhelming. Everywhere you go, it's just unreal, the uh, enthusiasm. And uh, I think that's going to be huge. But what Trump is counting on is that the evangelical Christians in this nation, <clears throat> the number, maybe as many as 100 million people, he wants to ask a group, he said, if you've got 100 million of them, how come you're not running the country? Well, that was a good question. Well, they don't do it because they're not, they haven't been smart and sophisticated, but I think the evangelicals now are very savvy and um, they're going to be the margin of victory, according to these people. It's amazing. So you who consider yourself evangelical, you, the election is in your hand.